The inner solar system consists of the sun and the eight planets. The outer solar system comprises everything beyond the planet Neptune, but within the gravitational pull of the sun. The outer solar system starts at about 30 astronomical units, astronomical units 30 times the distance of the Earth from the sun. The outer solar system ends about 20,000 astronomical unit from the sun, where the sun's gravitational field fully ends, the solar wind stops and becomes part of interplanetary space. So let's discuss about important parts of outer solar system. The chemistry of outer solar system. Most of the objects in the outer solar system are a combination of rocks and ice. Compounds necessary for life like methane and hydrocarbons are found there. A number of objects are covered with tholin, a hydrocarbon molecule that forms after long periods of exposure to ultraviolet light. There is probably no liquid water in the outer solar system. Objects this far from the sun are hardly warmed by it, with temperatures that average about 50 Kelvin, not far above absolute zero, where even hydrogen freezes. Some outer space objects may or may not have sufficient radioactive elements to have a warm core, which would permit a liquid ocean of water to exist beneath the frozen surface. They may also have zero volcanoes, where jets of frozen water or methane erupt due to the gravitational tug of war between the sun Neptune and other bodies. Kuiper Belt Kuiper Belt is populated with hundreds of thousands of icy bodies larger than 100 kilometers 62 miles across and an estimated trillion or more comets. Kuiper Belt objects Kavos are remnants from the formation of the solar system about 4.6 billion years ago. The dwarf planet Pluto is the best known of the larger objects in the Kuiper Belt. Comets from the Kuiper Belt take less than 200 years to orbit the sun and travel approximately in the plane in which most of the planets orbit the sun. The Kuiper belt is named after Gerard Kuiper who in 1951 proposed that a belt of icy bodies probably lay beyond Neptune. Planet 9 In January of 2016, Caltech researchers revealed that they found evidence of a giant planet tracing a bizarre highly elongated orbit in the very outer solar system. The object, which the researchers have nicknamed Planet 9, has a mass about 10 times that of Earth and orbits about 20 times farther from the Sun on average than does Neptune. In fact, it would take this new planet between 10,000 and 20,000 years to make just one full orbit around the Sun. Planet 9 is a hypothetical planet in the outer region of the solar system. We don't know whether Planet 9 exists or not. Heliosphere Heliosphere means the sphere of the Sun. As the Sun moves through the local interstellar medium, its supersonic solar wind carves out a cavity called the heliosphere. The heliosphere is a comet-like shaped bubble with a trailing tail filled with hydrogen and helium gases. The heliosphere is extremely large, about 100 astronomical units. One astronomical units equals the distance from the Earth to the Sun in the front and an extremely long tail in the rear. The heliosphere is the magnetosphere, astrosphere and outermost atmospheric layer of the Sun. It takes the shape of a vast, bubble-like region of space. In plasma physics terms, it is the cavity formed by the Sun in the surrounding interstellar medium. Oot cloud Oot cloud is a spherical cloud of comets with its inner edge about 50,000 astronomical units from the Sun. Its outer edge is about 100,000 astronomical units, which is about 1.75 light years away. This icy shell is named after Dutch astronomer Jan Uit, who theorized its existence. In 1950, Jan Uit suggested that some of the comets entering the solar system must come from a cloud of icy bodies that lie as far as 100,000 times Earth's distance from the Sun, 93 trillion miles. This extreme distance makes it challenging for scientists to identify objects within the Uyuk cloud. If they travel towards the Sun, the comets have orbital periods that range up to thousands of years and are said to have long periods. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, 
comment and share this video. Also subscribe my channel for more space videos like this.